It's a big week for the Indian aviation sector. This week marks a pivotal moment with two major developments that could reshape one of the world's fastest growing markets. Today, Vistara Airlines, owned by Singapore Airlines, will operate its final flight ahead of the highly anticipated merger with Tata's Air India that is going to be tomorrow. This merger wraps up a two-year process and signals a significant shift for Indian flyers. And later this week, on Thursday, November 14th, the market leader Indigo, which is of course operated by Interglobe Aviation Limited, will launch its business class service by the name Indigo Stretch on selected routes, marking its first venture beyond budget travel. Now, it is these uh, uh, milestones and developments that indicate major changes for India's uh, largest two airlines as they expand beyond their traditional routes. For Air India, the merger with Vistara is a crucial test for the Tata conglomerate, which aims to elevate service quality and reverse losses without losing Vistara's loyal customer base. For Indigo, the challenge will be to broaden the, its brand image as its venture into the premium sector, of course, building on its dominant economy market presence. For now, Vistara's routes, schedules and in-flight experience will remain the same, although flights will be identified under a new Air India code, which is AIXXX. Now, for example, if Vistara's UK 955 from Delhi to Mumbai is taking off, it will be transitioned to AI2956. But you see, despite efforts to ensure minimal disruption, the end of Vistara is bittersweet for many of its travellers. Launched in 2015, Vistara became a favourite for India's business class market, filing, of course, filling a gap that was left by Jet Airways bankruptcy in 2019, backed by co-owner Singapore Airlines' uh, reputation for its top-class service. Now, once the merger takes off, officially tomorrow, the combined fleet of Tata-controlled airlines will be a total of 210 jets with an additional 470 on order from Boeing and Airbus. This alliance holds a 25% share of India's aviation market with Air India at roughly 15% and Vistara at 10.1%, while Indigo will continue to be the market leader with 62.5%. While the merger is the big talk of the town, let's not forget Indigo is also getting up, of course, to secure its uh, market lead. The airline is moving towards its low-cost routes by introducing Indigo stretch business class seats on select routes this week. Business class tickets uh, for uh, this flight will start at around 18,000 rupees with plans to expand to all Delhi Bombay flights by early January. The pricing strategy undercuts Air India by about 30% where a similar route would of course cost close to 26,000 rupees. India's pivot to premium offerings is also a step towards the future, including its wide-body jets expected from 2027, which will allow it to expand into long-haul flights. With these significant changes, India's aviation landscape is shifting. The Air India Vistara merger marks a test of Tata's ability to integrate services without alienating loyal flyers, while Indigo's entry into business class challenges its reputation as a low-cost leader. As these developments play out, travellers and industry watchers will be closely observing how these moves impact uh, competition and service standards in one of the world's fastest growing aviation markets, that is India. All eyes on tomorrow as the merger comes into place.